There are those people who brush and floss all the time. If you're one of them, good for you. But I'm here to tell you what could happen if you neglect your oral health. I'm Dr. Andrew Greenberger, a participating periodontist with Delta Dental of New Jersey. That's a dentist who specializes in periodontal or gum disease. Gum disease is a serious disease. It not only affects your teeth, it could affect your overall health too. How does it start? With bacteria. You have bacteria in your mouth. We all do. We're born with it. We control the level of bacteria by brushing and flossing our teeth. But what happens when we don't brush or floss? The bacteria have a chance to multiply. Some bacteria produce acid that damages your teeth, causing cavities. Others can affect your gums and the bone that supports your teeth. If you notice bleeding gums or loose teeth, you probably have gum disease. But that's not all. The bacteria in your mouth causes inflammation similar to many other chronic diseases like diabetes, heart disease, liver disease, and others. Studies have found that inflammatory periodontal disease shows an association with multiple systemic conditions. You can protect your oral and overall health by being aware of your risk for gum disease. Look for these warning signs. Bleeding gums while brushing and flossing. Red, swollen, or tender gums. Gums that seem to pull away from your teeth. Teeth that are loose or separating from each other. Or persistent bad breath. Gum disease can be treated surgically or non-surgically, depending on the case. The main goal of treatment is to control the infection. The number of types of treatment will vary depending on the extent of the gum disease. Any type of treatment requires that the patient keep up good daily care at home. The doctor may also suggest changing certain behaviors, such as quitting smoking, as a way to improve the treatment outcome. Once you have gum disease, you can control it by incorporating healthy behaviors. See a periodontist for a baseline examination anytime after the age 21. Then follow his or her recommendations. Here are mine. Brush and floss daily. Visit the dentist regularly. If you have active periodontal disease, you may need to be seen two to four times per year. Eat a healthy diet. Your dentist can give you specific guidance. And finally, maintain an active lifestyle. That also helps keep you healthy. Follow these guidelines and you should enjoy good oral health and good overall health for a lifetime.